the lockdown has had a uh, devastating impact on various sectors of economy including manufacturing and manufacturing happens to be one of the highest growth sectors of indian economy uh, it accounts for close to 16% of uh, indian gdp now as the call for self reliant india and make in india and vocal for local gets more attention and the government is pushing everyone to make in india manufacturing as a sector is getting the right boost at the right time i think it's the right time for manufacturers and businesses to look at how they can reimagine their processes revisit their strategies and use emerging tech like blockchain to enhance process efficiency cut down cost and stay relevant in these uh, turbulent times manufacturing uh, over the years it has evolved from a pure mechanics to uh, mechatronics where it has opened up different avenues for even automation industrial or Uh, internet of things is getting more adoption now and now uh, if you look at the recent report by gartner it says that 3 years from now more than 30% of manufacturing companies who have a sizable fiber line in revenue would look at blockchain 4. Point, industry 4.0 projects using blockchain what the covid has done is it has accelerated the process of digital transformation so people or companies who were quite hesitant in uh, looking up to digital transformation they don't have any choice now the pandemic has forced them to go digital and adopt digital first strategy now if you look at uh, the troika when i say troika ai blockchain and iot it's very much important to put these three technologies together and apply to current manufacturing processes then only you will be able to get the maximum benefit out of it now, what are the, some of the drivers which is forcing companies to adopt these technologies first is cost reduction since all the industries are under stress and cost optimization or being frugal is the need of r so cost reduction is one of the pressing factors which is forcing companies to adopt emerging tech process efficiency is another if you use uh, emerging tech you will be able to make your processes efficient and resilience to future exigencies exigencies so if you look at blockchain it impacts almost every aspect of industrial value chain starting from let's say material provenance so if you're looking at material management it's important to know what the material you're using right is it uh, is it a fake one or is it has it been adulterated the global impact of counterfeiting uh, stands close to 7.5 billion dollars only for semiconductor and electronics industries it also has an impact on uh, your maintenance services or quality checks so one aspect leads to another and let's say if you are invested in uh, heavy uh, design engineering let's say aviation right where you need to collaborate with different multiple parties it makes sense to have a single source of truth which blockchain brings so that let's say if you have different teams working on different uh, design aspects or design or adopting different design solutions you can put all of them together and you are you are sure that the designs which is developed by a team a is not exposed to hacking or exposed to cloning or is exposed to being stolen another aspect is identity management so identity is also crucial with respect to manufacturing processes who is who is working on which critical part of application does he have the right uh, privileges to do that or not so decentralized identity management solutions are very much crucial beat attorneys beat technical engineers or architects it also gives companies a holistic view of who is working on what it can also help them in uh, streamlining their compliance and reporting purposes now supply chain management uh, is one area where where all the companies are really looking at this particular piece because the pandemic has broken the sub- global supply chain and it was highly centralized towards china so in the new world order supply chain resiliency is also very very much important and uh, blockchain can bring that level of trust transparency and resilience across different s- stakeholders across different geographies quality assurance again will link back to materials provenance if you're using the right material if you are making sure that counterfeiting doesn't happen you will be able to tick all the right boxes on quality assurance asset tracking is one where let's say if you're using uh, expensive equipment ac- across different constituencies or different regions uh, blockchain helps you connect all all the pieces together and you are sure that a particular asset is being tracked from origin to the actual product if you're a business uh, and if you're into the manufacturing space how do you know that whether you should be going for blockchain or not so these are the six major criteria and if you click at least four of them or if you meet at least four of these standard criteria blockchain is the right solution so if you're interacting with multiple parties and you you have a trust deficit
to sit with them. I think blockchain is the right solution. Then, if you're doing, if you are dealing with multiple uh, stakeholders or vendors, and it, it takes time for you to do reconciliation or come to terms uh, with respect to any consensus, you can use blockchain and create a single source of truth. And if your processes are complex, there are a lot of intermediaries that, that gives you one more reason why you need to do it. And if you want to have a clear view of with respect to verification of data, I think blockchain is the right solution. 